Pineal fam, I hope that you guys are doing fantabulous. I do have a package here from Madam Glam. They were kind enough to send me over four of their gel polishes. This is a new collection that they've launched for January. And these are the colors that I picked out. So I'm just going to quickly show you the colors and then we're gonna do a fun nail design. Hope you guys are doing well. Did you have a good weekend? Hopefully you did have a good weekend. What did I do for my weekend? Um, I actually went to the movies and I watched the new horror called Megan. I don't know if any of you guys are horror fans. Um, I am a devout horror fan and um, Megan is not horror. I thought it was quite, I thought it was quite funny actually. Um, and then I did a little bit of Netflix binging and um, I watched the Jeffrey Dahmer series. Uh, I think Phyllis Banks was the first person I heard talk about it. And I thought it was, it was, it was disturbing, but it was, it was also, I don't know. I, I think the word I'm looking for is a little bit refreshing to kind of understand what kind of happened because I've actually never heard of heard of him. So that's just a little bit about me and my weekend, and uh, I'd love to hear about how your weekend was, you know. And I, I want to add in a little bit of personal stuff, you know. It's not all the time. It's just, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm using these nail products. Blah 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 blah. Sometimes it's just nice to connect. Okay. So the first color here we have is called Seek and See. And with all Madame Glam's gel polishes, as you will also see them on the side here, they are vegan, they are cruelty free, 21 free, palm oil free, and they are HEMA free. And when you open the bottle, you have, what is that, up to 12 months to uh, use their products. So super, super happy. All right, so I'm just gonna open up all of the beautiful colors. The first one we have here is a nice, beautiful, creamy, stunning vanilla latte. <laughs> For lack of a better term that is so beautiful that's a stunning color reminds me of the coconut they also have another color called coconut it's quite well maybe not similar but just reminds me of that all right next one i picked out here is a beautiful kind of plum purple and uh this one is called royal card i'm trying not to smack in this video i think one of my last videos i was smacking a lot sometimes i get excited and my caribbean's eye comes up look at stunning look at how stunning that color is I am obsessed with purples. This is like a in-between of purple and like a mauve. Is that mauve? It's beautiful. Next, I picked out this color here. I thought this would have been perfect for a sweater writer, but this one's called Astrological Goddess. I love the names of these gel polishes that Madame Glam, oh, they always come out with just stunning collections. If you didn't get the Christmas collection, I definitely think you should. The colors, oh my goodness. Those those six glitters, I think it was six, that came in that collection. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so here is the last gel polish here. This one is called Green Energy. And it has a little bit of a teal vibe going on. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, guys. I swear, every month, like, I get a, um, a slight... <clears throat> excuse me, a throat infection or some kind of throat or voice related. Maybe I talk too much, you know? Maybe it's a sign. Stop. <laughs> Stop talking so much, girl. Talk too much. Okay, so I, off camera, I did go ahead and uh, swatch these colors because I was too excited to see the colors. And um, you guys know that Madame Glam's gel polishes is pigmented to the gods. Like, they are the best. Best gel polishes that I've ever used in my entire existence. And I have some other ones that are my favorite as well. Okay, so we swatched this first one here. One coat coverage, guys. No two coats, one coat. So that's that first one there. And then this is the plummy looking one. Beautiful color. Here is that lovely kind of sweater vibe. Beautiful. And then lastly, this color here. Just nice. It looks kind of dark on camera, but in person it's more medium. Stunning colors, all right. So when I saw these colors, I, I immediately thought of maybe like an abstract nail design. But obviously we <clears throat> we are in 
the Valentine season. So I was trying to figure out what kind of Valentine's design I could do uh, with these colors. Um, definitely these three here. I could just probably do some hearts with them onto the nails. And this one I probably have to save for an Easter, maybe an Easter design, perhaps. All right, so let's get started on this nail design. I'll start off first by applying some peel-off base coat to my nails so that I can pop these off, and then we'll get into the nail design. Okay, so that layer of peel off base coat is now dry. So for this nail design, I wanna do a milk bath set. Well, I'm gonna put the milk bath on the thumb as well as the ring finger. And then we'll use those other colors on the index, middle, and the pinky finger. And I have some flowers here, some stickers um, that I got from Shein that I wanna use uh, with the milk bath. And I'll probably go in with some foil flakes as well. Either this, either this one, or I actually have some foil flakes somewhere on my desk that I will be using. So I'll just be quiet just for a little bit, just so that you can uh, kind of uh, see exactly what I'm doing here. So we'll start off by applying our first layer of white lace from Madame Glam. So I haven't cured these two as yet because I wanna cure everything one time. So I have my Madame Glam uh, base coat here and I have this color here called Optimistic. So when, because Madame Glam is so pigmented and so um, opaque, if I want to make this a little bit more on the translucent or jelly side, I usually just go in with a layer of base gel first um, over the entire nail. And then I will add a small amount of the color that I want to make more translucent. So I want this to be a jelly nude color, which I don't yet have um, from Madame Glam. So. Right, so I don't need a lot. I hope it's not messing with the peel off base coat. It wants to look like it's messing with the peel off base coat a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I hope I hope it's not messing with the peel off base coat because then I won't be able to take the nails off. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So now we're gonna add a little bit of this color here to the nail. I am getting a little bit of texture. Yeah, it is actually, it did mess with the peel off base coat. If this was the, because Madame Glam has their own peel off base coat, which is curable. If that was, if I had used this, I probably wouldn't have an issue, but then this peel off base coat that cures doesn't work well on full cover tips. So I'm gonna get some alcohol wipe and wipe that back off. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to go back in again with the uh, peel off base coat again, let that dry. But let me cure these two fingers before I forget. So that was a fail guys. So we will come back and try another method. Okay, so rather than trying to make my own um, nude, I'm just gonna reach for one of my favorite, which is this one from Nail Reserve called Sea Swing and Sun. One of the best. Um, has a nice jelliness to it. Did 
I make sure this is dry? Yeah. All right, so the nails are done. Nice, beautiful, neutral nail. So I'm going to uh, put on some stickers and I have uh, these gold flakes here. I was trying to find my tweezers. Oh my goodness, I can't seem to find them. So give me one minute. Okay, I I can't find my tweezers, so we're going to have to use my cuticle nipper, and hopefully, um, I don't make a huge mess. So I want to use this one here. And uh, because these ones have like stronger colors, that's going to complement these ones here, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with something a little bit more darker. But again, we're going in with um, another layer of this white milky color. So I'm not too concerned about the color taking over. And we're just gonna press those uh, stickers down onto the nail. And then we'll go in with another layer of the white and on that wet layer, we'll put in some gold flakes. Okay, so here's how the nail is looking after I have cured and added those gold flakes. So we're just gonna go in with one final flower to the top, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our top coat onto those um, milk bath nails. So I think I wanna go in with another one of the three petals. Onto the finger. And uh, this one here, onto this finger. All right, that's good. And now we'll just go in with the top coat. Okay, so our uh, milk bath nail is done. So now the final thing that I wanna do is paint on of some tiny little hearts to make it a little bit more Valentine's-y. So we're gonna use Madame Glam's uh, Ultra Liner Brush and we're just gonna paint on some tiny, tiny little hearts. So I'm just gonna put a dollop of some of the gel polish of each of these colors here from the new January collection. Onto this little pad here. I got this off of, uh, I think she and
Um, I want to tie in a little bit of gold on uh, the other fingers. So I'm just going to take just a tiny little bit of this and kind of like smear it around the tip of the nail. to mention that this is called Stardust by Madame Glam. And now that that is done, I am just gonna, uh, just wondering if I should put in like, you know, white dots. I don't want it, I don't want it to look so crowded, you know? Yeah, so no, we're just, we're just gonna go in with some uh, top coat onto these nails. Keep it very simple, you know? Which is very unusual for me. You know, you know, I really like wild nails. And I really been doing a while nails like that. But I actually really like simple stuff now. I know what's going on with me. <laughs> Alright, let me finish uh, applying the top coat onto these almond, medium, stiletto, round nails. Uh, give it a cure under the UV lamp for 30 seconds with Madame Glam. You don't have to cure for 60 seconds. You can just cure for 30 seconds. And then I'll be right back with the uh, final look. Hi guys, I put some uh, lotion and cuticle oil onto my nails. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here's a final look. Um, I actually really like them, guys. And this nail shape, like honestly, I'm, I'm just becoming really obsessed. One of the reasons I kind of switched to something shorter and a little bit rounder is because I'm studying now, guys. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm studying accounting now, and um, I'm gonna have lots of homework and assignments, and I need to be able to type, and I don't feel like keep popping off my nails when I have to do content and stuff. So this is working out really, really nicely for me. And it's more practical, but I'm gonna find some way to do something while. <laughs> I can find it somehow. Anyway, guys, let me show you a quick picture of uh, the nails in the sunlight. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Look at how the sun is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. They're so cute. Guys, give almond nails a try. Go short. Go short or go home. Don't go big. Go short. <laughs> so sparkly. Madam Glam. Stunning gel polishes from the gods. Hema free. Vegan. Cruelty free. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.